Hello everyone, I am Arafaya. This is a new channel I've set up to post various videos about Transformer content. And today I want to talk to you about my top five underrated Transformers. These aren't characters like Optimus Prime, Megatron or Starscream. Just five obscure bots that I've always had a soft spot for. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number five, Nova Prime. We'll start with one of the more recent additions to Transformers canon. Whilst there's still much about the character we don't know, I feel that's part of his charm. He's portrayed as a villain from the dead universe and constantly carries around this superiority complex that Transformers are the height of existence. I love that whilst he believes his intentions to be noble and primist, he clearly goes mad with power and status and starts swallowing up other races and planets. Perhaps a prime example, that absolute power corrupts absolutely. I do think he is somewhat unrepresented in the toy market. However, most primes are whose first names aren't Optimus. Number four, Pterosaur. Whilst there is a degree of popularity with Pterosaur from Beast Wars, there's no denying that he is of lesser popularity to the likes of Optimus Primal, Megatron, Dinobot or Waspinator. Pterosaur, for me at least, was a familiar character, hosting a similar personality to a G1 Starscream. He has a snake-like nature and he's always trying to gain leverage for himself. I think his robot design is one of the coolest around and he even has his own spotlight episode in Power Search in the Beast Wars series. Sadly, Pterosaur met his end at the start of the Transmetal era of Beast Wars. Although he was originally planned to get a Transmetal upgrade, it was Waspinator's popularity that kept him in the series and sadly met the end for Pterosaur. Number three, First Aid. First Aid is easily the most prominent of the protector bots, and whilst I could choose Hotspot as a favourite also, it's First Aid's genuine caring nature that carries over from the G1 cartoon into the IDW comics, and his cool looking faceplate that gives him a proper medic look. Also, Defensor is a combiner that I am fond of, but that's a video for another day. In his G1 Spotlight episode of The Ultimate Weapon, it really gives an insight into First Aid's pacifist nature. Number two, Trigger Happy. Introduced in The Rebirth in the last season of the G1 cartoon, Trigger Happy lives up to his name. An already gung-ho Decepticon who gets upgraded to a Target Master with the Nebulon Blowpipe. I love Trigger Happy's alt mode of a futuristic Cybertronian jet, which was the style at the time. His faceplate, his colour scheme and his voice in the G1 cartoon, played by Charlie Adler, which I still read out, printed text in his voice, really accentuates his maniacal personality. <laughs> Number one, Chrome Dome. Now, Chrome Dome is hardly an obscure character these days. His IDW presence has catapulted him into one of the most popular Autobots of recent time. I was first drawn to Chrome Dome in the G1 episodes The Rebirth, where he played a lesser studded role, and it wasn't until the Headmasters series that he rose to the forefront of the Autobot ranks. Funny that given his latest popularity and his newish relationship with Rewind, you tend to forget he is a Headmaster. But going from a scientist and a headmaster in the G1 continuity to a Mino surgeon, if I've said that right, and relationship thriving bot in the IDW continuity, it just goes to show what a few years and some good storytelling can do to hurl someone into the spotlight. And that's my top five underrated Transformers characters. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please press the thumbs up button and leave a comment. I certainly hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time.